when you attend law school, you, you kind of get a notion of that that's not all you want to do. There's other things you want to do to kind of round out your life, and when you come out, you end up going to the office and, you know, drinking out of the same coffee cup every day and not much changes. And it's a very dangerous thing, especially when you're in a, in a, a profession that requires that you have to think in terms of different ideas, different cultures. In the practice of law, there's this discussion that we've been awful where it comes to protecting women in the practice and giving them the same opportunity that a male a counterpart might have. They, they, they have a glass ceiling and Gina Romano is somebody that, you know, if you're male lawyer, trial lawyer, female trial lawyer, whatever, you would not want to be on the other side of the table with her because she is, she is exactly the prototype of, of, of female trial lawyer that I've worked with and against. To go to the office and say, well, this is all I do, I think actually detracts from your ability to think as a creative attorney. And so I started writing very early. I started off with, uh, with motivational books for lawyers. The first one was In Search of Atticus Finch, and that evolved into uh, Resurrecting Aesop. Maybe you didn't know that the Department of Justice is so, that they're so dysfunctional, or the FDA has been captured by, by corporate America, or the SEC is simply an extension of Wall Street. Maybe you don't know these things until you read them in the setting of a fiction book. And then you ask yourself your question, wow, did that really happen? Is this really true? There is going to be no glass ceiling, and if there is, I'm going to bust right through it.